Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be tackling a problem on HackerRank called Big Sorting. This is an easy difficulty problem. However, I did find that this had something like a 60% completion rate, and so I thought I'd tackle this one. As usual, I'll go over the problem, give you some time to do it on your own, and then go over my solution. Here we go. Considering an array of numeric strings, where each string is a positive number with anywhere from 1 to 10 to the 6th digits, sort the array's elements in non-decreasing or ascending order of their integer values and return the sorted array. So here's an example of 1, 200, 150, and 3, and it should return 1, 3, 150, and 200 in ascending order. And the thing to note here is that the length of the numeric string can be at most 10 to the 6. So that is a digit that is usually too big for most programming languages, hence the fact that it's in string form. All right, that's the problem. I'll let you do it on your own and come back with my solution. Good luck. Okay, so let's start off with an example of a bunch of numbers that are unsorted and they're of different lengths. So here are the values and they're broken down lengths. Practically, we would want to sort by the length first, the smallest to the largest, because any number that is of length one would be, of course, smaller guaranteed than anything of length two and so forth. And it looks something like that. After that, we would ideally want to sort within each length group. We're actually going to go back a step. So what I'm going to do is use a hash math data structure. I'm going to take each value, pop it into the hash map, where the key is the length associated with that string. And the value is a list of strings of that length. And so for the first one, it's three. For the second one, we have three. And then again, we kind of extend the list. And we can just take the whole thing and just, you know, pop it in there. And this is kind of what it looks like. Now, you'll notice that with the hash map data structure, the keys are not technically sorted. They are unsorted. We'll want to take the keys and sort those so that we have that in order. Now, typically, you're not going to sort within the data structure. We could just, like, create a list that are the keys themselves and then sort that. That's what we're going to do. But I just to visualize it, I'm just doing it here. But once we have those sorted, now we can go through each key and we will then sort each list and append that to an output list. So for the first one, we're going to get, you know, one in five in order and append that to our output list. And then we'll go to two, sort that, and then append that to our output list and so on. All right, that is our strategy. Let's check out the code. I'll be coding in Python today, but I will be sure to include a JavaScript implementation as well. All right, so here's our big sorting function. We're given a list of unsorted integer strings. And here I'm going to create a hash map data structure or a dictionary in Python. And we're going to go through the list one time. And we're going to grab the length for each string, check to see if it's in our cache as a key. If it's not, we're going to create it and assign that to an empty list. So we will assuredly have a list by this point. And then we're going to just append that value to the, the associated list for that length. Once you're past all that, we have all our data in our cache at that point. And then we can now go to the lengths, the individual keys, and sort them because we're going to go through or in order uh, from one up to, you know, whatever, then we will create an empty list here for our output. We're going to go through each one of those sizes that we've already sorted. We'll go through each size, check the cache for that size to get all the values, the list of values that it has. We're going to sort that directly. And then we will going to add that now sorted list to our output list. And then we can return our list, which is now sorted. Let's uh, run some code. All right, looks good. Let's submit some code. All right, awesome. Let's go over some time complexity. So we're told that we have some kind of interesting limitations here. We're told that the strings themselves can be at a most 10 to the 6 digits long, but the number of strings we're given can be at most 2 times 10 to the 5th. When we go through our list the first time, that is a big old n, number of strings, which is 2 times 10 to the 5th. And then when we do the sorting here, that's the actual number of keys which we're told as basically the lengths, which can be at most 10 to the sixth here. In this for loop, we are going through each size. So then again, that's 10 to the sixth there. But within that, we are sorting the given list for each one of those sizes. Now, what's interesting here is you might think, OK, well, this is 10 to the six and this is you know, referring to N. This N is referring to the number of strings which you might think, oh, that's two times 10 to the fifth. So that's a pretty big number if you multiply these two together. But the thing is, there's a restriction here where the total number is two times 10 to the fifth. It's not like you're multiplying these necessarily because there's a limit. There's like an upper cap where in total you're going to have this number. It doesn't quite balloon out as much as you might think it does. The total time complexity is big O of n plus big O of n log n. Uh, all these are constant, so they get kind of factored out. 
And then we have, uh, we're left over with just the sorting of the list itself, which is just n log n. All right, folks, if this is the kind of content you enjoy, please make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good things, and I'll see you next time. Take care.